with you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can create your own multi-boot usb flash drives with all your windows uh, isos and also your driver packs maybe you want to add in there uh, some antivirus uh, live cds to remove malware then this video is for you you can use this piece of software here it's called winusb you can get it from winusb.net and as you can see here, they've got the download link right here. Just download it. And uh, you'll need a flash drive, of course, and uh, and your ISO images. And it will look something like this, the program, once you start to use it. And uh, that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's go ahead and uh, click the download button here. And then there's another download here. And they're just saying that the Windows protection on your PC may stop it. This is your smart screen. You just have to go to more info here and allow that to go through the download link and it will come down onto your computer I've already got it inside here in my folder and uh, you're going to open this up so I'm going to run this as administrator by right clicking and run as administrator say yes to the user account control and there we are so this is the actual software itself as you can see we'll start off on the left hand side here they do have a link to the official website They've got some how to sections here. So if you click on this, it will take you to an how to section, how to get used to uh, using this program and how to use it. Very simple and easy to do. And uh, also we've got uh, get Windows ISOs. It also gives you an idea on how to do that as well. They've got their licensing agreement here and also a link to their forum. So if you've got any problems uh, with this uh, particular software, i.e. you're stuck and you don't know what to do, you can uh, sign up on their forum as well. So let's move on uh, down to the share area. You can share his uh, stuff on Google+, Facebook and uh, Twitter. And as you can see here, we have on the right hand side, this is where we can add in our ISOs. So we can add our Windows ISOs here uh, via DVD and also WinPE. If you have a WinPE, you can add it in. And also we have a other section which is for your Linux and for your driver packs and antivirus program. As you can see, we've got the plug and select USB drive. Now my USB drive should automatically be detected as you can see here. What we're going to do here is click on the Windows ISO and add in a Windows ISO. So we're going to add in the Windows 10 ISO, click open. It will start to read that ISO and uh, we can now put in whatever we want here. So if you want to leave it like this, you can do. I'm just going to leave it as Windows 10 and it will automatically get that ready. And you can see it says UEFI boot supported, which is nice. Let's add one more in there. I'm just going to do Windows 8. Click open. And you can put in whatever name you want to call yours. I'm going to click OK here. And now we have Windows 8 and Windows 10. If you want to remove them, you just click on this and it will remove it. And I'm just going to add this back in by going back to the Windows 8 ISO. Click open. And then we change our name and we'll have Windows 8 back in our list. So now we have two operating systems in here. Uh, if you want to install them from a Windows uh, DVD, you can do it from here and navigate to your DVD-ROM drive with your Windows uh, disk on there. It's as simple as that. You just navigate to here. We don't have one on here. But if you did, you just click on your DVD with your Windows part and it will pull those files across. Now, WinPE is if you've got like a, a live Windows CD, you can add those in by clicking on this here. And also we've got other now other is going to be covering your Ubuntu at the moment uh, this is a new program so they're going to probably add more stuff as time goes by and you can see here we do have Ubuntu ISO file so if you have one of those you can add that in here and if you don't have one you can also uh, download it from here so I'm just going to click on this one here and click on the uh, desktop version and I'm going to click 64 bit and you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to leave that as is and click OK and it will add that in. Now you can see UEFI uh, boot supported as well on this one. And you can see we have a couple of options here for rescue CDs or live CDs, which is AVG and NOD32. And if you have got the 
ISO file, you can click on this one and this will just let you point to your ISO file. We don't have one of those. So we're going to go for this one here, 478 megabytes in size. And we're going to click on that and we can leave that as is as well. So now we've got Nod32, Ubuntu, Windows 8 and Windows 10 going on to that uh, flash drive here. Now I did want to point out the driver section here and the driver section is for driver packs. Now if you are a PC repair tech uh, and you format uh, Windows regular and install Windows operating systems regular, then something like this is going to be essential because obviously when you format the system, sometimes when you install Windows, it leaves out Wi-Fi drivers and LAN drivers. And if this is the only PC you've got, it can be very tricky to uh, install those drivers. And especially if you're on site. Now, again, you don't have to just do Windows uh, 10. You can do Windows 8, Windows 7. You can make this just a Windows one if you want to and have just all your Windows ISOs like Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and so on. You can have it all going right way back to XP if you want to on the next button and you can see here you can choose whatever format you want to do it to and you can see here the drive formatting to FAT32 will be performed firstly so continue say yes it will give you a final warning to say are you sure you want to continue because all the data on that drive will be erased and we're going to say yes here it's going to start to format that USB flash drive now you can see it's starting to download uh, the ISO file for the Nod32, which is ESET's live CD, and this will remove malware via a, a live environment, which is always good because it means Windows is not booted up. You're booted into a live environment and it will start to scan and remove any sort of malware from that system. And this will do all the work for us. We don't have to do anything else. The software will take care of everything. And then what will happen next is once it's completed this, it will move on to Ubuntu. Now, a good thing here as well, you can pause if you want to. You've got the pause button here. If you want to pause it, you can do. You can see this one's now finished. And it's now started to do Ubuntu. So if you pause this here, you can see the pause button and it's deactivated. If I wanted to skip Windows 8, I can do. And if I want to re-enable it, I can just push this and it will re-enable it as you can see here. So depending on what you want to do, if you just suddenly decide you don't want to do it, you can do by clicking on these buttons here. Very useful. So we're just going to leave this to uh, do its thing. Now it's starting to extract the uh, Windows 8 here. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, let that do Windows 8. So that's just moved on to uh, Windows 10 now. And uh, it's going to install Windows 10. Now if you wanted to cancel this at this stage, you could just click on this here. And this will uh, cancel that out. You can see it saying cancelling. And uh, this is going to stop it doing Windows 10 altogether. If you don't want Windows 10 on there and you just wanted to stop it, you just click on the cross here and it will remove that from there, as you can see, cancelled. And that's it. You can see here now, you can add more dist uh, distributions to this uh, USB drive. And if you want to continue, you can click uh, continue here. So what we've got here so far, we had Nod32 finished and installed, Ubuntu finished and installed, Windows 8 finished and installed onto our flash drive. We was doing Windows 10 and then we terminated it and cancelled it. Uh, so we didn't want to do Windows 10. And that's how you can do it. You can do that with virtually any of these if you want. Now you can push continue. And it's already on the USB, as you can see here. And you can add more in if you wish to do so at a later date. And it will be fine. Uh, and we can do that if you want to. So let's go ahead and add in uh, one more here. Do the AVG because it will be quicker. And uh, we're going to do this one here. And we'll leave that as is and let that come down. And you can see here now it's going to start to uh, do AVG for us once we go next. You can choose if you want to format a uh, drive before making it bootable. Uh, so we don't want to do that. So make uh, make it bootable without formatting. Yes. Uh, 
and that will then start to uh, download uh, AVG here. And there we go. Here we've got that on, so we can click OK. So let me just close this off. And I'll open it back up here. I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator here. Say yes. And you can select your drive and automatically it will come back up. So when you shut it down and open it back up, it will give you all the information here. So you can continue to build on it a little bit later on down the line. If you want to, what you need to do is plug your drive back in and open this up and continue your work or remove stuff and add new stuff. And it's pretty much that simple. And uh, I'm not so sure whether we can get the driver pack done. Let me try the driver pack here. So I'm gonna add driver pack. Click next, and uh, we don't want to uh, format. Okay, so we've got that uh, driver pack solution coming down now, and we can add this uh, to our USB flash drive. Okay, so that's now finished, and now we have our finished USB flash drive with all our bits and pieces on it which we can boot to. So let me go ahead and boot to this and I'll show you what it looks like so you can get an idea. So here we are booted up to our USB flash drive and you can see we do have our Windows distributions inside here and also we have our ESET, NOD32, Ubuntu and AVG Rescue. So if I went into Windows distributions you'll see it will give you our Windows 8 as you can see here and we could boot to that and install it again you can install driver packs and drivers from there as well and it's a useful uh, utility to have and it's a great way of creating your own multi-boot USB flash drives Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one's been uh, useful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.